back over the weekend. Former Gonzaga guard Nigel Williams Goss's mother Valerie went viral for a story she did for Yahoo.com. It was about her experience as a white mom and stepmom of black children and how white people need to use their voices to enact change. Valerie is also a therapist who has done extensive work with interracial couples and biracial children. I sat down with Nigel and Valerie to delve more into what she wrote. My mom is, is my hero. The world learned why this weekend. I think we were both a little bit surprised um, at the reaction and the, and the reception uh, that everyone had to the article. Obviously, people really gravitated towards your words. I really only know the reception I've had based on phone calls and texts I've had um, from people wanting to know more information which is great because that's what I really wrote the article for. The article focused on several topics, but perhaps the most overarching one was Valerie realizing she had to use her voice to stand up against racism against her black nuclear family. What I found is it's better to speak up when they're not around because for whatever reason, then I can be heard. When they're there, it's almost like um, the, the exploit, everything goes against all of us. So when I can speak up and say what I have to say, I don't worry about what the response will be because it's just going to be at me. Nigel has always been vocal about his activism, just like his mother. There's a reason why. I've tried to do my part as a minority, as an athlete with a platform uh, to kind of try to break those stereotypes and say, hey, look, you know, you can be a minority. You can be an athlete. You can be a scholar athlete. You can be outspoken and well-spoken. Um, so just trying to do my part um, as much as I can to, to shine a positive light on the minority community. But um, again, I, I think there needs to be a lot more change than uh, just a few of us trying to uh, lead by example. The point of Valerie's words this past weekend, though, is that Nigel shouldn't have to worry about breaking stereotypes. They shouldn't exist, and they definitely shouldn't impact how he or anyone else is treated by the police. Really what my whole article was about is that it shouldn't have to be up to the Nigels of the world to talk about the fact that this is about police brutality and that police do kill uh, African-American men and women at a much higher rate than they're killing anyone. If we don't look at it for what it really is, if people keep, if people like you and I, um, not Nigel, you and I, just listen to people say, oh, but it happens to everyone, then we're really part of the problem because no, it doesn't happen to everyone. Nigel ended our conversation today with the thing he wants people to think about. Treat others how you would want to be treated. And if you can ask yourself, you know, would I be okay, um, you know, with my white child being pulled over and killed? Uh, would I be okay with my white child running down the street, being shot, filmed? Uh, would I be okay with, you know, um, something so, so minute, so small, uh, you know, such a small infraction, him going to jail for 15 years, 20 years, you know, where, where somebody else would get off with, you know, maybe probation, you know, so um, just ask yourself, you know, would I want that done to me or to someone, you know, that I love? And if not, you know, let's try to fight for, for those that it's happening to. If you want to read what Valerie wrote, we will include that link in our post on this story at creme.com. That's it for sports.